Hey guys, Dev Spider here with another video. Um, I wanted to go over the upgrade hammer, which is this one on the right with the metal head. And then I also wanted to go over the stone hammer. So the stone hammer is used for repairing, which you'll need planks, which we have some in our inventory here. So you need planks to repair wood, and you'll need concrete and brick and iron to repair various structures. Like iron would be your iron doors, bricks obviously for your brick walls, concrete for your concrete foundations and fences. All right, and you also need these if you uh, you'll need the concrete and the brick if you want to do upgrades as well as the upgrade hammer. Um, while streaming and in chat on the Discord, I've received various questions concerning uh, the upgrade hammer. People saying that it's not working or they can't make one. So we're gonna go over that real quick too. So I'm gonna go ahead and store mine over here on the weapons rack. Uh, to make one of those, you need one stick and one iron ingot. So we'll, we'll grab one from my stash. And uh, let's see, we got iron ingots everywhere, so we'll grab one of those. We got plenty left on the forges to remake, and some in the chest, and like a stack upstairs, so it's not a big deal. So uh, you just come to your workbench, and you just add your items to the workbench one iron ingot, one stick, alt right click to move from your inventory to the workbench, and then you just craft it. Now, the issue that I'm seeing that people are saying is that they can't craft it or make it. So when you go to craft it, make sure you do it on the workbench. You put just one stick and only one iron ingot. And then this is typically why you can't craft it right here. When you come into your inventory, click these dual axes. Make sure that you have an open slot in your backpack. Because when, when you craft something on the workbench, it automatically moves to your inventory. So if you don't have an open slot, your upgrade tool will not go. Like, you can't make it. The craft button will be there. The recipe will be listed. It's working fine. You just don't have an opening to hold it. And that's been the, the main issue that I've seen, is people just aren't <laughs> having backpack space for it. Uh, yeah, I know, it's common, it's simple, it's easy, but we all do it. Like, I'll, I'll craft stuff all the time, like, why won't this make? Now, as you can see, I'm currently making more bricks right now to uh, continue working on these items. Uh, and you'll, you'll see these in my previous videos. Uh, it's been a long, ongoing project. Alright, so now that we have, as you see, I've already got planks, concrete on me, and some brick. So, the stone hammer is what you use for your repairs. So, like these fences are all concrete. So, 400, 390, it takes two cement, two cement. Uh, it's based on damage. So, let me see if I, I don't know if I have any left that are like heavily damaged. I know I've got some fences that are. So, like this fence, two planks, missing 20 hit points. So, with the stone hammer in hand and planks in your inventory, just left click on it and it'll repair. Same thing for the concrete buildings and the structures. Uh, I know one of these is like pretty beat up, I thought. Maybe I repaired it when I did everything else. Like, see, this one's at 60, so instead of two planks, it's going to take four planks. So, like, like I said, it's based on damage. I can't remember if it's a 20 or 25% uh, modifier before it goes up in cost. So your your fences, uh, like two cement, then four cement, six cement. And uh, that gets kind of expensive. Uh, I mean, that's why I have so much clay that I've rounded up. Alright, so next is your upgrade tool. So since I have concrete on me, I've just started working on this foundation. So we'll go ahead and knock one of these out real quick. So you'll swap to your upgrade tool, which is in slot 4 for me. And just left click again, and it upgrades it. And your upgrade tool, as far as I can tell, lasts forever. I mean, if you look in the lower right corner, you uh, it should say upgrade tool, and you'll see that white circle. So if you look at my stone hammer, Eventually you will have to make some more of these. It does wear out, just like any of your other stone tools. But the upgrade tool is like for life. Currently. At the time of making this video. Yeah, and then once you're out, you know, nothing. Don't do anything else. So, yeah, that's currently where I stand on foundation in here. It's a super large building. Um, for the tower, I mean, we'll go ahead and add some brick just while we have a stack on us. I've already, like you can see, I've already almost done the first three floors. And again, just with the bricks in your inventory, you just left click. And then it automatically uses up what you have. The foundations are 15 cement to upgrade, so it's really expensive. These walls, you know, are 8 brick. Uh, yeah, costs just pile up when it comes to doing repairs and upgrades. Uh, cool thing about these guys, as long as you're on a, a high ledge, they cannot get to you and they won't do anything. In case anybody's wondering how to avoid damaging your structures. And then use 
As you just saw there, you use stone arrows, you get them back. Or not stone arrows, bone arrows. And uh, yeah, and that's pretty much the art of upgrading and repairing. And uh, what, what all you need to have on hand. So I'm just going to put all this stuff back, because I don't really... I don't really need any of it right now. I'm full on that already. Alright. So then we're just gonna run back in here, slap this stuff in there, and uh, that's pretty much the end of the video. Uh, like I said, check out my other videos if you need help with anything. I pretty much have a how-to on almost everything at this point. Uh, if you see something that's not there that you, if you're curious about or you need help with, just uh, you know leave a comment, hit the like button, subscribe. And let me know if you need to know something else or see it. You can also catch me streaming most nights anywhere between 12 and 3 a.m. Eastern. And then uh, I, on the weekends and stuff, I usually stream for long periods of time just while I'm gathering and crafting. Uh, so feel free to drop by. Uh, I stream on Twitch uh, at Def Spider, same as my YouTube. And uh, yeah, you'll catch me on there all the time. Uh, also, you know, come join us on the uh, Discord for the Infected. And uh, a lot of us in there are constantly helping people, answering questions. Uh, come up with new crafting ideas. You can speak to the devs if you want to. Um, he's really responsive and quick. He's really good about fixing issues as they arise. He just, you know, sometimes he doesn't catch it all because, you know, obviously they're designing and adding on to the game constantly. But uh, yeah, if you've got a concern or something, you know, just bring it up with him and you know, catch us on Discord, like right? Facebook. And again, like, follow, and subscribe. Uh, let me know what else you'd like to see. And y'all have a great day.